hey it's really been a while finally i'm going back to work and i will start to record tutorials for you again this time i'd like to create a slide like that a compression slide and for that i needed to select two photographs i went straight into unsplash.com and i just typed in sport or running i browsed a few images and those images are so great i want one person to be on the left side and another person to be on the right side I've selected something like that, something like that, and those two images should be perfect. If not, we will change them, but this doesn't matter. What matters is how to do this comparison. Let me select the first photograph. And one photograph will be on one side of the slide. Now, how do I determine the perfectly middle side of the slide? This would be simple because you can always go to view. Please do that and open up guides. Apart from guide, I would like you to open the ruler. Okay, I have my ruler, I have my guides, so I have everything to work with now. I'll move this guy to the right side and I must remember that the slide ends here. I would like to divide those two photographs with a line. How can I do this perfectly and equally? This is why do I have the guides? I'll right click on the guide, I'll select add vertical guide and add vertical guide. I have two additional guides. Now I need to determine how long I want this to be. I want this to be on maybe negative five and positive five as well, because I'd like to cut through this image. Let me just briefly preview this image. Okay, the cut would be good going from left to right maybe, but I'll cut this guy a bit. Okay, now let's do this cut like this. How can I make a cut on this image? This is very simple. I just go to insert shapes and I select a rectangle shape. This rectangle can be as big as you want, as long as it will be drawn until this guide, until this vertical guide. All right, what I need to do now is to click on this object, make it perfectly equal on one side Go to, click on it, go to format, edit shape, edit points. I need to select the second bottom point and I need to place it perfectly in this point. You see where I'm going with this. This doesn't matter, all that doesn't matter because I just want to have a perfect line dividing both those images. Now, perfect. I'll click away and I have a shape like this. Now, why do I need this shape? because I want to perfectly crop out this guy. So I select this guy. With my shift click, I select this object. I go to drawing tools, format, merge shapes, and I just subtract that. That's how easy it is. Now I can drag in the second photograph, plane into PowerPoint, put it here, and just right click, send to back. Now look how perfect. I should move this guy a bit to the right side. Uh, we have luck that this image is big enough. Okay. I want to eventually crop this image. So I see where the end is. Oh, the slide ends here. So I should put the image more to the right side. So we see this, uh, his entire body. And okay, this would be a perfect middleized compartment. Now this line is in the middle. We don't see it because the slide ends here. If you want everything to look perfect, really perfect, you would take another shape, you would place this shape here, where the slide ends, it snaps automatically, and you would do the same again. You would click on this image, you would click on this shape, format, merge shapes, and subtract it again to get rid of the right side. The reason I did this, because if I click on this guy in the format, and if I select crop, and I move this crop, you see the crop moves. I can eventually move the photograph if I need to. That's no problem. While not hitting the crop. I just hit on the image. Okay, this biker a bit to the right side and crop, boom. We have a perfect comparison. Now to see more on the image, go to view and deselect those guides. In order to make it a bit more spicy, I would select insert, I would select a shape and I would select a simple rectangle because I would like to have a line between them. A line like that, 
I just need to line this perfectly up. That's a bit tricky, but you can see with a few mouse clicks and my arrow keys, I can then fill it with another color, shape outline. No outline. Now this red is very ugly, so I'll shape fill eyedropper. Maybe I select the red from this guy. I make this a bit smaller because this was too big. And look at that. This starts to become a real design. If you would want to have some text here, of course, you would go to insert. I have it as a shortcut here. I would insert text boxes and I would write the text and add some icons, but that's not relevant for this tutorial. My last step here is this is a bit too warm, too plain, too, too bright in my opinion. So I would take another shape. Let's add some spice here. Let's make the shape like that. Right click, format shape. Open the fill open the gradient fill and you want a gradient from top to bottom, which would be this one. Okay, now the bottom color should be something. Sorry, I want to move it to the bottom. Okay, so the left one should be something maybe dark, maybe not black, maybe blue, maybe red. Let's go with this orange that we selected recently. Okay, and the first color should be completely transparent. Now the second color can be just a bit transparent, so we add color to this. If you think that this orange doesn't work at all, go for a black one and then select the transparency again. This will make the entire design, let me make no outline, a bit darker and add a bit of glow to it. So I made this entire design too bright. Just imagine adding a few simple metrics as text here and this slide becomes beautiful. In the end, we would have a design like that with performance statistics, with a nice comparison between two persons or two elements. This doesn't have to be sport related. You can really compare anything like that with a simple line and simple cutouts around pictures. I really hope this will be something of great value to you. Have fun with this tutorial and see you in other ones.